What's up guys, Iovo here, and welcome to a brand new video on the channel. Now in today's video, I'm going to be showing you over 10 ways you can speed up your Windows computer. Now if you want to see more videos like this, be sure to hit that like button down below and subscribe for more tutorials. And with that being said, let's get started. The first thing you want to do is go ahead and go into your task manager and then click on startup and click on any apps you do not want to open during the startup and then hit disable so that when your computer turns on, all of these apps won't be opening up if you're not going to be using them. The second thing I want you to do is go ahead and search for notifications and open up the notification settings and disable any notifications you don't want. And I would highly recommend you uncheck getting tips and tricks about Windows because I'm sure you already know a lot about Windows if you've been using it for the last couple of years. And this is just going to slow down your computer. Now we're going to be going ahead and cleaning up your temporary files. These are files that have been used once on your computer, but they're still stored after a long period of time. You wanna go ahead and press Windows R, and then you wanna type in temp and press enter, and then press Control A to select all the files and hit the delete key to delete all of these temporary files. Once they've deleted, you wanna do this once again, you wanna press Windows R, but this time type in percent temp percent, press enter, you're going to have more temporary files come up, press control A and delete those as well. Now we're going to disable any services that automatically run in the background. So you wanna go ahead, press Windows R, and this time search for msconfig and press enter. You wanna make sure that you don't have any of the Microsoft services selected. So you wanna check off the bottom left and then go through this list and find any services that you don't want to automatically run in the background and then make sure to apply the settings and changes. Now, if you don't have a solid state drive, we're going to be changing the schedule of our drive optimization. So you wanna go ahead and search for defragment and click on defragment and optimize drives. And then you wanna change the schedule so that you don't have a schedule. So you're gonna turn it off. As you can see, mine is already off. And what you wanna do now is you wanna manually optimize it. So you can go ahead and check these settings every month or two months instead of the frequency of the schedule. Now we're going to go ahead and change our theme. So you wanna go ahead and search for theme. And then once the screen is open, click on colors, scroll down and turn off transparency effects. Every little thing counts. Now we're going to be optimizing the power settings. So go ahead and search for power options and open up the settings. Ideally, you wanna have it set on balanced. And then you're gonna go ahead and scroll down, click on processor power management, set the minimum to 0% and the maximum to 100%. And you can do this by just typing in the numbers. And then you're going to press apply and then okay. Now to make sure we have all of the temporary files we don't need removed, we're going to go ahead and search for storage sense and then we're going to turn it on. Once you have it turned on, you can also configure Storage Sense and run it at any periodic time that you want to ensure that you never have too much clutter on your computer and too many temporary files. On that note, we're also going to be cleaning up our disk by searching for disk cleanup. We're going to go ahead and go through this list and check off all of the temporary files that we want to delete from the internet and other sources. And then we're going to click on clean up system files and then click on OK. And this should clean up our entire disk as well. And the final thing we want to do is go ahead and open up the privacy settings. And on this page, you're going to want to uncheck all of the permissions that you believe you don't need, nor will you ever use. And so I found that the most prominent ones were the ones underneath privacy, location, camera, and then most importantly, background apps. There's a lot of apps that run in the background that you don't know about that you don't want to run in the background. And so disabling them will allow your computer to speed up and use up less processing power. And once you've unchecked everything on the settings page, you also wanna open up the gaming settings and un basically disable everything if you don't use the gaming settings on Windows 10 and you don't use the gaming app, which I don't, so I've disabled everything there. But those are essentially all the ways you can speed up your computer. Hopefully this video was very, very helpful. Let me know down below in the comments if you wanna see more videos like this. And as always, thanks for watching. My name is Iovo and I'm signing out.